Welcome back to Afternoon Express, live right here on SABC3. So we've made you one recipe for today, and you're always wondering, hmm, what's the second recipe going to be today on Afternoon Express? Well, today we've tried something absolutely delicious. We've come out of that sort of winter season, but something that I can have at any part of the year is a delicious curry. And today we're making a prawn and kinklip curry, and our chef in the kitchen, Clem Pedro, is going to show us how. Show oh. us, oh master. Let's do it. So today I'm going to make a Thai curry. Cool. You like Thai curries? I, I love, love Thai it. curries. Mm -hmm. Any curries, actually. Thai is what I love about Thai. It's got that sort of ginger and the, the, the garlic taste into it. which Absolutely. Is, oh, the most delicious flavour mix. Such a signature flavour. Like, mm. you know it's a Thai curry when you smell all those things in there. And it's coconut milk in it somewhere. Absolutely. Cool. I'm using an already made curry paste, but you want okay. to challenge yourself, go and make one. Cool, but is this a green curry paste or is it a, what kind of curry it paste? It is green. Good. And you know the difference between a green and a red curry, curry paste and the yellow one? <laughs> no, what? It's the colour of the paste. <laughs> really, I, I totally <laughs> predicted you were going to say that, but I thought there was something slightly more intelligent it's in you. It's the colour of the chilies. I'm disappointed. It's the colour of chilies. Oh, really? You can do like hot, hot oil. Okay. Oh, you something like a canola oil, sunflower oil, peanut oil. Something's got a high, Ooh. high burning temperature. Burning point, yeah. Olive oil is a bad idea for these sort of things because olive oil doesn't have a high burning point. You want to keep it as close to room temperature as possible if you're going to be cooking as with possible. it. As possible. So what I'm doing now is I'm kind of frying the ingredients that are in this paste because it's Ooh. actually raw. Yes. So you want to fry it. All the aromatics are going to be released from the ingredients when you put them in that hot and hot oil like that. Plus, you give it that slightly more smoky, crisp flavor as opposed to that really strong tang. And aromatic is a key word. When it becomes super aromatic, oh, you smell it. Mmm. You know senses, really. I know. Like, you know if anyone really. had the flu, now they don't. <laughs> so, um, Thai food is all about balance. Cool. So, sweetness, sour, all those amazing flavors you have to ba balance out. So, brown sugar is going in. Dan, cool. can you pass me the fish sauce? Ta da! Fish sauce, another amazing ingredient. It's quite pongy, uh -huh. but the good pong. Yeah, fish sauce is one of those ones you don't want to like sniff to make sure that it's okay before you put it in. Just get it in the pan, and once it's immersed in all the other flavors, it really does add such a nice uh, really? I like flavor the smell of combination. Fish sauce. Oh, no. It's quite, it it's, reminds it's, me when my mother used to feed me, um, um, what's that oil, like a cod liver oil yes. when I was a child. It's one of the fish, <laughs> like, like but once it's in your dish, it adds such a depth to the it flavors. Yeah. And the reason it smells is because the fish has been fermented. Totally. Good, it's good, because it's got an amazing, again, umami flavor, mm. and it's the salty. Mm. Okay. So it's beautifully seasoned. What have you put in there now? Sorry, I, I missed that. What is the that? Coconut, coconut milk. milk. Coconut milk, milk goes mm. in. So what I want to do now is bring this to a simmer, which is already happening. Okay, good. And we'll start adding our ingredients. So, All right, what have you got for us? You tell me. Fresh ingredients, you've got a mini corn. I don't know what this thing is actually called. Baby corn, mini corn. Are they called baby corns? They're real things. Then you've got your, your um, sugar snap peas. Look at me, I eat these for lunch all the day. And julienne carrots. Can I tell you something about this? What? These are yours. I took them from your really? lunch box. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Typical, man. Those okay. are so delicious, by the way, to eat as a snack. They're really good to put inside your, any of your kids' lunch boxes and things. And they're so healthy for you and got a nice sweetness. So kids will learn to love yeah. them, yeah. So that's going to go in. Again, Thai, thai curry is all about keeping fresh and flavor. Yeah. So don't cook it for too long. You don't want to kill the flavor. You want to yeah. keep some crunch in there. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is add some... Oh, the zestiness. Here You're going to add your lime. Lime goes in. But hey, we're making a prawn and king clip curry. Where's the prawn and king clip? Well, it's Let's probably get it in. here, I guess. So I visited oh. um, the Sea Harvest retail store. And you want to know about, more about that, you're going to have to tune in in a okay. few weeks and see all about it. Got some fresh king clip from there. And it's going to just layer it in beautifully. TV cool. show like. Mm. And how about you pass me the sea harvest um, prawn meat? Sure, here we go. Convenient and this is shelled, the bag. And it's shelled, they've taken all of the everything out, so it's the perfect way to cook it off. You're gonna exactly. pop it in there and they'll cook it from frozen, right? From frozen. Absolutely from frozen. Great. That's gonna go in. By the way, if that was not enough of a surprise or a secret for you, is how amazing that is, you can also get yourself a really cool hamper, um, a surprise hamper. You can find yourself all those details on our Facebook page, Afternoon Express. Don't forget to like to get us that 50,000. All the details on how you can win mm -hmm. are there. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes later. Ta-da! What do you think? This looks so delicious. It looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait for you guys to try this one out. If you guys want to get this recipe and the shopping list, it's available from our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. It's as simple as that to make this delicious food right in your home with us right here on Afternoon Express. So with okay. all this deliciousness, let's Take go it away. It. Go enjoy it. Da-da! Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. It smells incredible. You thought you guys had a delicious meal last night with your drinks. Wow. 
Do we have a surprise for oh, you? Life is yeah. so hard right I know, now. right? This is tough. We have to yeah. eat in front of TV while yeah. people are watching. Like, it's actually a real skill. Would you just show us how you think it's done? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know where to start. I think I'll start with the rice. <laughs> the only thing that's not going to just kind of drip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good exactly. idea. Yeah, Good stuff. Clothing, cool. So. Guys, please dish up. Yeah, dish I up. I touched on it a little bit earlier during our conversation, but what advice would you give to young people who want to take what they love mm. and turn it into an entrepreneurial opportunity? Yeah. Um, well, look, I always think that um, don't forget that your own life is enough content. You know, I think a lot of people like spend a lot of time trying to think about what other people think is cool. You know, I think your, whole, your, your own life is really, really cool. You've got enough content. What you do every day, figure out how to package it and just focus yeah. on that. The right risk takers are the guys who make yeah. the most amount of money, yeah. so take the right risks. Tomorrow yeah. on, on the show, we've got tough guy actor Paul Dutoy here and uh, uh, R&B house musician Zano is going to be in the loft with us, who's going to be performing a song from his brand new album. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Enjoy the delicious food, South Africa. Good night and happy eating. Bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Want to try some rice?